And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Dragons. Gonna be our first of three very cool donation decks that we have for today. This one's gonna be Demacia and Noxus put together. We're gonna have a Shivana deck with a few dragons. We got Screeching Dragon in here and then Egghead Researcher that gets to create dragons as well. So there's our dragons and we're going that with Katarina. And we're going to be doing tons and tons of striking. And so that's going to be, uh, we'll have cards like single combat, uh, strafing strike, concerted strike. So lots of removal with those. Plus whirling death that also allows us to strike a battling ally. So lots of removal with those cards. Um, we're, we're going with a the Trifarian theme in here also. We have Trifarian Glory Seeker, a 5-1, 5-4 Trifarian, a uh, Reckless Trifarian. Because the Trifarians will help us draw cards with Trifarian Assessor. Draw one for each five plus power ally that we have. We have some like um, so it looks like those are only five power allies, but of course the Fury with Screeching Dragon can grow it to five power fairly easily. And Shivana um, with a leveled up Shivana attacking that and Fury that thing can get to five power very easily as well. So the Trifarian Assessor will be some extra card draw. Plus, of course, we get some uh, card advantage with the Egghead Researcher, and this can get more dragons for us that can be 5 power. We also have a couple other ways we can get some 5 power things. We got some Sharp Sights for some combat tricks, and then also some Might to Overwhelm and get a bunch of damage in for surprise if our opponent's blocking our like Reckless Trifarian with a little 1-1 one -one or something like that. Um, so that could be a, a good way to uh, end the game. Plus, Might with the plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm could be really cool with Katarina, where, like, maybe in the late game, uh, let's say we have, like, 11 mana, and so we're able to play Katarina twice for two extra attacks. Well, if we use Might on something first and give it the plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm, and then we get to attack again and attack again, that can be, you know, that could be a lot of uh, Overwhelm damage that could win the game, especially if that's on, like, a Shivana that, like, attack, give me plus two, plus two this round, and, like, we <laughs> might... Like, that's kind of like our combo, right? Like, we might uh, level up Shivana. It gets the plus two, plus two. Um, they have to, like, block it with something smaller, and that thing dies, and you get Fury, and then you play your Katarina and get another attack, and, you know, you can just kind of do that, and then whenever it attacks again, it gets plus two, plus two again, and it still has Overwhelm. So that could be that could be a ton of damage that could happen, but... All right, this is our deck, Katarina Dragons. Let's see how we do. We're just gonna go play over it in ranked. Yeah, we haven't played ranked in a few days, so let's let's uh, get with that. Let's see how things are going over there. All right, playing some aggro. Uh, wish we had a Radiant Guardian in our deck, but we don't. We're gonna just kind of try to outrace him. That's what we're gonna do. I like this opener. Um, I can see getting rid of the Bright Steel Protector. Actually, let's go ahead and just do that. Uh, but it, I like the Egghead Researcher as a blocker. I like these combat tricks. Glory Seeker is going to do a good job of uh, removing their champions. So that's good. Hey, Turg. Yeah, we have Might. We could, we could maybe outrace him. So not playing the Glory Seeker yet, we don't really need to, um, yeah, let's, let's get rid of the Elusive, trade one drops there. <clears throat> we don't need to, you know, challenge anything yet. Um, yeah, let's just go this way. Like, getting rid of that, you know, the House Spider is a, a larger thing, so like, you could trade with a 2-2 House Spider. Maybe like maybe I should be doing that. Time for the main event. Watch and learn. I guess if they have vision, this is bad. So I could sharp sight my egghead researcher and make it a 3-5. But then again, if we have vision, that'll get blown up. Or I can simply just block here. Take more damage. And then have Glory Seeker kill this next turn. That's the safe play to do. Time for the they did have vision. 
so they would have blown that up. planning on keeping these two spells available, you know, depending on like which one we want to use. Face me. So they're thinking, do we block this thing that can't block? Alright, looks like the answer is no. Hydrogen's pretty expensive. Don't know if we're going to get much use out of it. No going back. Katarina getting the blade's edge. don't have another vision, at least hope not. Wow. We do have another vision. <clears throat> well, that's pretty bad. Another vision. So I could play Glory Seeker and challenge one of these things. I need to kill like a Jinx if they have a Jinx. Well, this isn't like the best pass for me. Just need to use more mana. Like Trifarian Assessor uses more mana. I need just a moment. I guess we got to do this. I definitely think that the, that that last card is Jinx, which is really bad for me. Which of course means I need I'll need to have my reckless Trifarian single combat jinx. Ooh, it's not jinx. So we're still gonna have to single combat. Mm. I guess yeah, we're still just dead. <clears throat> well, I think my biggest mistake that game was playing Reckless Trifarian. That will that card will be the downfall of our deck. Um, this will be a better matchup for Reckless Trifarian for sure. All right, so we have um, not really things that we need. Like we don't really need like Glory Seeker, Fleet Feather Tracker. These are really easy to kill with Shadow Isle spells. And they aren't that necessary. Like, Glory Seeker does a really good job against Weirding Stones. So, like, that's that's the thing it has going for it. So, I could keep it because of Weirding Stones. Um, but I don't want Fleet Feather Tracker. I don't want Whirling Death. This is the only one I'm considering uh, with Weirding Stones. I'm just going to look at them all. No, sharp. If you play sharp sight on reckless Trifarian, it, it still can't block. Like it, it doesn't allow it to block elusives. I don't understand why people do that. Like, why did they pass priority to me, and like I could have passed the turn again? Like, why did they not? Why did they not just play their catalyst first? Like, I, I could have just. I could have just passed there. I don't... I honestly just don't understand. I guess that's what I'm saying. Why would they not play the Catalyst of Aeons first? 
can see the Debastian border from here. I'll follow where I can. Look out for Reavers. Alert the villain. All right, four damage dealt by Shivana. It was right on my tail. All right, so they already have like two Ledruses in their hand because they didn't they didn't draw one. I think this definitely could, you know, if I if I play one of these things, it could be ruination. Look lively, soldier. All right, I'm gonna keep both my cards. So I can play assessor right now and draw one, or I play Inviolus Vox first. I play Inviolus Vox first, and then if they go ruination. Yeah, we have to level up Katarina first before we can start playing Katarina and rallying. What will you have? And this is why I mulliganed the one health units from before. So we had to go right to attacks, um, and even if they block, or even if they like use something that kills Katarina, like we're probably putting Katarina back in our hand. Even if they use something that kills Katarina, I guess I want to do this, and we will sharp sight. Even if they do something that, that would kill Katarina, we have the Whirling Death that would save Katarina. Okay. So they don't. So we know that they have multiple Ledros in hand. That could be their plan is playing Ledros, which I would be all for. If they play Ledros, they're pretty dead. So yeah, they can't they can't play Ledros. They have to pass. Because if they play Ledros, then I play Katarina and they're pretty dead. So I think their plan, their plan's probably, it's got to be Ruination, right? Because then they got to, like, want me to play Katarina and then they Ruination. So I think I just pass and take the pass. Go to the next turn. And the onus is on them to do something because they can't just pass again. Because they pass again, you know, like we just attack. Alright, that's only 8 mana. So no Ruination. Never. You want know, to keep playing this, the card they know about. I don't want to play the other Katarina they don't know about and just give them extra information. Ancient things trapped in the ice. What a specimen. Bar the doors. Let's put them down to two. GG's. So yeah, they had all three Babbling Bjergs and none of them did anything. So like their hand was just all Babbling Bjergs and Ledros. This is Bilgewater Ionia with Nautilus. Looks like a Go-Get-It deck. That's my guess. I'll 
pl I'm planning on playing Bilgewater, Ionia, go get it tomorrow. All right, what do we want to do? We'll probably keep, I don't know what I want to keep. Maybe these two? We'll keep these two. I don't love keeping Katarina in my opening hand. It's usually a card like as we see it saw like that last game. It's like great in the very late game. Like once once you hit like turn seven, turn eight, that's when Katarina starts shi shining. It's not something that I am um, clamoring on playing on turn three. Oh yeah, we won and one. Good call. Stunning development with the Concussive Palm. 15. Ooh, Jell Hunters is great. I like Jell Hunters. Fortunately, we got Katarina. Katarina's even cooler. Go to attacks. Let's see what's up. All right, looks like Steel Tempest was up. Put them to nine. So I could go. Oh no, no, because I can't. I can't cast Might and then replay Katarina. Right? Yeah, that looks pretty good, Cabo. I may want Jet or uh, Jaw Hunters in there, um, especially you know with being a smooth soloist deck, like where you can just reduce the cost of the sea monsters that you're putting in your hands. I think it would be a good, I think it'd be a good Jaw Hunters deck. The dragon's rage claws All right, to get let's out. just you know get Shivana in here. We can play Katarina this next turn while we have the Trifarian um, unstunned. All right, well. We'll just have, in, instead of that just completely eating the 3-2, we'll have these fight. Take that out. And now we get to keep the 3-2. We get to attack again with Katarina. And this deck looks pretty good here. That's what we want our deck to be doing. That was a pretty sweet game. None face a dragon and win. Alright, so Leona, Diana. I like Diana plus Nocturne more myself going all at nightfall, but let's see doing daybreak and nightfall together. We're gonna Maybe keep all of these? Or get rid of the sharp sight? This this looks kind of like what we had the first game. Where I didn't do too well. With curving Egghead Researcher into Reckless Trifarian. It is kind of an awkward 2-3, to be honest. Because Trifarian doesn't block. Egghead Researcher blocks, but I mean, it only... You know, it's a 1-3, so it's not keeping anybody from attacking. So obviously I did not want to draw a Might Might back-to-back. Bask in her radiant blessing. So do I attack it and let Pale Cascade trade? It's a pretty rough trade for me with Pale Cascade. Yeah, I guess not. I guess I just can't. But 
This is gonna be a tough game. It's not over or anything, it's just gonna this is gonna be a tough one. Not the egg. Get another egghead researcher. I don't think Reckless Trapparian is worth saving, but I think Fleet Feather Tracker is worth saving. I'll show you how it's done. The guilty were banned. No mercy for heretics. Have faith. I guess they could randomly have a withering whale. It's such a quick pass. So what do they want to do? They want to play Diana and challenge stuff with Diana. Might as well go to the next round and not let them be able to do stuff like that. Get back to like where I have like spell mana and everything like that. This. I like this trade. Just, just trading one mana two ones and clearing up the board a little bit. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if the dragons are able to beat the Celestials. That'll be pretty interesting. So there was the Pale Cascade. From before. I mean, you know, I'm either playing Egghead Researcher or Trifarian. Let's see. So if I play Research, so we're going to have nine mana next turn. So I could have, I could have ten, um, which I guess ten is more important for Screeching Dragon Concerted Strike. Um, so yeah, maybe we do something. Maybe we play Egghead Researcher. So Egghead Researcher created Inviolus Vox, which created Screeching Dragon, and then our other Egghead Researcher also created a Screeching Dragon. So they're creating a bunch of Celestial cards, and there's the Diana they wanted to play the last turn. So they're creating a bunch of Celestial cards. That's an easy block. This allows me to keep Concerted Strike available. I'm going to try to kill Diana. That's the goal. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Glorious light rains down. We are inevitable. Alright, good. Fused Firebrand. Ugh, another Diana. 
All right, so I'll concerted strike next turn. For that. Need to fix this this bug here. I don't like it. The sun's splendor reveals. To the skies. Fate has delivered me to you once again. Our death. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. So I have a lot of cards over there. A lot of cards and a lot of mana. No more lies. Face your heretic. I will be heard. Mm. Come back later. Going to eight. How bothersome. Going to nine. So yeah, this dragon stun, we don't get to block with that one. I was basically going to see if they did something and, you know, I was going to maybe have Might here. They didn't end up doing anything. So it's, it's alright. Well, maybe I should be playing the other Screeching Dragon, actually, first. Star Shaping. So I got a lot of Celestial cards over there. I probably yeah, I should have played the other I should have played the other screeching dragon. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. I wanted this thing to have five health over the Enviolus Fox being a seven eight. have two mites and then this will keep create a f strafing strike so I'll have like two mites and a strafing strike pretty heavy artillery back heretic the guilty were bad we consider So the mites can put these up to nine and nine power wise. So let's see, that would be eight extra damage here and seven extra damage there, 15 extra damage, which would be lethal. Sweet. All right, what you got? Nothing. There we go. GG's. The Mighty Dragons. Yeah, Egghead, Egghead Researcher did a ton for us that game. Can't complain about Egghead Researcher at all. <clears throat> Creating Enviolus Vox that created all that other stuff. Enviolus Vox was just incredible. Why don't we have that card in our deck? Maybe Enviolus Vox is like the better Trifarian Assessor that just makes more and more... Uh, dragons for us. Alright, so I don't love Fleet Feather Tracker in this matchup. Remember how I mulliganed Fleet Feather Tracker the last time we played this? But I think I'm going to try keeping it with having Sharp Sight. Oh man. Hapless Aristocrat just made this 
Flea Feather Tracker obsolete. However, Sharp Sight could <clears throat> allow us to um, challenge like the O4 if, if they play Weirding Stones. Like that's what I was thinking, was like buff up the tracker, kill Weirding Stones. I must get out of here. Um, basically, Sharp Sight would be two mana, kill one of their 1-1s, one and give me Fleet Feather Tracker. I guess. This could be bad if they if they do play the Weirding Stones, and I won't have like the two mana to single combat and kill Weirding Stones. Um, but with these 1-1s one -ones able to block Reckless Trifarian all day... All right. Good pass. Good pass. Good pass. No trundle. Cool. No trundle. Maybe I should be challenging the hapless aristocrat with my screeching dragon because I do care about it surviving a lot more. You have to get me out of here. And make it probably more likely that they wouldn't, you know, waste the flash freeze when it was just the hapless aristocrat, and then I'd have a five power. Screeching Dragon for this Trifarian Assessor. It's tempting to save that thing. Earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. I draw a card while we still can. Let's take this outside. Good sort of strike's probably just gonna be too important with their champions. No going back. Yuck. Yeah, I guess I guess I have to use this concerted strike now. Now I'll put Katarina back in my hand. Violence solves everything. Yeah, that's great avalanche. I'll do it myself. Attack. Go get him. <laughs> Down to 16. Almost dead. Alright, is this mana worth it? So we're gonna have 10 mana next turn. 4, 8, 10. No, it's not even worth playing that. I'll just keep the mana. Card's great. That card's probably too powerful. That card's probably too powerful. Alright, three and two. Well-timed avalanches and... Um, yeah, just feel the rush. Just one card that wins the game on the spot. It's probably too powerful. All right, but anyway, um, I liked a lot of stuff that our deck had going on. Um, 
yeah, I think, I mean, I just like all these strike cards and then, uh, you know, with these dragons are really good. And I liked the Katarina being able to get us extra attacks. So I liked all that. Uh, I, I'm not sold on Reckless Trifarian or Trifarian Assessor. Reckless Trifarian not being able to block hurts you really bad in aggro matchups, as we saw the first game with the card doing nothing. Um, Trifarian Assessor, though, does give us, you know, it's supposed to give us that card advantage. But maybe we should just be playing other dragons. Oh, right, that's why we can't, I was going to say Enviolus Vox, but Enviolus Vox is Targon, isn't it? Okay, so it's Targon, so we can't play Enviolus Vox. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Let's see. If we would, if we would replace Reckless Trifarian, though, like we don't really have three mana cards, but we could could replace it with more Legion Drummer and um, I don't think that I don't think we need Lieutenant. I don't think we have enough dragons for Lieutenant. Well, I mean, we kind of do, but I would like more maybe more Bright Seal Protector and Legion Drummer. I think that both of these two mana three twos. Um, I mean, like all three of these two mana three twos, but I like both of those quite a bit, especially when we're, you know, like, uh, they're both great with, with your Fleet Feather Tracker and your Trifarian Glory Seeker, and they're also both just pretty good with, like, Shivana, help, help you keep your Shivana alive. Of course, both very good with Screeching Dragon also, just kind of help keep your dragons alive as well. Um, so I, I wouldn't mind taking out Reckless Trifarian and playing, like, Bright Steel Protectors and Legion Drummers instead. And then maybe replacing Trifarian Assessor with a different top end card. Um, so what would that be? That would maybe be could go like if you want to be if you want to be like more aggressive, it could be Kato. If you want to be defensive, you could have Radiant Guardian. Or if you want the card advantage um, and ways to be able to beat control decks, you're probably looking at like Captain Farron. Um, Bright Seal Formation is probably too slow, but probably Captain Farron, or even Unyielding Spirit. Um, you know, you could go with other stuff like that as well. Uh, so, you know, so, so another option, basically what that could look like is maybe like two Captain Farrens, two Legion Drummers, and then finish out the Bright Steel Protectors. So that, that's what that could look like. I definitely like that, that change over the 5-4, but, you know, I, yeah. Yeah, like that That could maybe be a little bit better. And yeah, Bright Steel Protector helps with all the striking cards and helps helps with your, your single combat and your stra strafing strike. It, it definitely helps with those things. We saw that kind of be awkward, um, especially like that last game, not really being able to cast single combat because just our stuff would just be dying. Um, so that's that's definitely in... in uh, so that's an option. Um, but th then again, you know, you may, you may want, uh, right, you know, like that, that discard burns a really tough deck to beat. And like that, that deck, you really need Radiant Guardian. So if, you, if you're facing a lot of discard burn or fast aggro like that, I recommend playing a couple of Radiant Guardians. You play those instead of the Legion Drummers, um, you know, if, if you're playing that matchup. But if you're not really playing that matchup, you don't, don't really need Radiant Guardian in other matchups. Um, it's kind of just for like those fast Noxus aggro decks, but it's it's real necessary for those. So that's another option there, but you need some more units. All right, but anyway, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Katarina Dragons, and I'll see you for the next video.